Oh. Chinky, who are you laying? Don't touch the leg. I think it's busted. Oh, I heard about the bank job last week. Oh, that dough. What happened? I got it. That's what happened. I also got a juicy double cross. But the cops have been looking all over the state. Where have you been? Don't worry about me. I had it laid out. Yeah. Matter of fact, I had a whole town to myself. Yeah, sure. At the money. <laughs> Jackie, is it here? Don't get smart, Lily. You tell anybody I called you. No, of course not. Okay. Look, I, I gotta get out of town. But I'm gonna need some help. Maybe a doctor. Anything you say, Chicky. Uh, you know Willie Denty? Yeah. I've been in and out of his place a couple of times. Why, is he a friend of yours? Better than that, I owe money. Five grand. Tell him it's double to nothing. Ten thousand if he helps me now. Nothing if he don't. All right, I'll tell him. Wait. You might want to be sure you're talking for me. I got a pencil. You got some paper? No, what? I just ran out of the house. I didn't... Styles. Stuart Styles. Sure. <laughs> it's just that I always wanted a butler who talked like you. More kings have spoken like me than butlers. Yeah, you don't want the job, just say so. Excuse me. <laughs> the lady's alone. Guess whom she's asking for? Me? Name and business? Lily James. And she says her business is none of mine. Carry on. Miss James? I'm Lily Willy. <laughs> Sounds like a comedy team, doesn't it? You'll be willy-nilly about Lily and Willy. <laughs> Sit down, Willy. Okay, Lily. Would you like a drink? Uh-uh. But you go ahead, have one. It'll give me an advantage. Mm -hmm. What kind of an advantage would you like? Well, I know you're a handsome punk, all right, but that's not what I'm here for. You're a pretty baggage, all right, but uh, why are you here? Do you remember Chick Loomis? Loomis? I don't remember him since last week's paper, no. Well, yeah, the poor guy's in plenty of trouble. He stuck up a small town bank and killed a cop, and now everybody and his uncle is looking for poor Chicky. Except you, that is. Oh, yeah, I've known Chicky for years. An in and out kind of guy. But now he's sitting on a hundred grand, and he's holed up right here in San Francisco with a busted leg. And, uh, you know where he is. Uh-huh. I just left him. Of course, you've, uh, told the police about this. What for? There's no reward for Chicky. Well, of course. Makes all the difference in the world, doesn't it? Well, I'm no cop. Are you? Not lately. But I also haven't struck up any friendships with cop killers. Why the 10,000? He says he owes you five. And then the extras for helping him get to a doctor and then get out of town. But just between you and me, he's hung up pretty bad, so I think if you held out maybe for 20, 30,000, you could get it, maybe even more. And why does this make you happy? Because then you'd give me some for putting you wise, wouldn't you? <laughs> That's the least I could do. If he's helpless, why don't you just hit him over the head and take the money off of yourself? Well, I wish I could, but the dope stashed it somewhere before he got into town. And obviously he hasn't told you where it's hidden. Obviously. Otherwise, I wouldn't be sitting here with you making small talk. Yeah. You know, I've heard of sick jokes, but this is my first experience with, uh, sick honesty. One thing I have never been called, and that's a phony. Well, I'm glad there's one thing. You know, I could, uh, con Chicky out of the whole bundle and have all the money for myself. Oh, no, you couldn't. I know about it. I'd tell people. Relax, Lily. I'm not going to play cloak and tiger with you. You haven't told me where Chicky is. Let's leave it that way and forget you ever came in. 
Maybe I should have played up to you. Hmm? Would have taken a little longer, but we'd have gotten to the same place. Goodbye, Lily. You know, Dante, I don't usually like what's hard to get. But I like you. Go figure ice hockey. <laughs> But why you, Dante? That's all I want to know. I told you the first time, Lieutenant. Chick Loomis lost five grand to me in a legal gambling house I had outside New Orleans. That was years ago. But he never paid off. Until now, that is. We just dragged him out of a cellar a few hours ago. He doesn't ask for a lawyer, nothing. All he wants to do is talk to you. Why? Well, I thought you were going to tell me. I don't usually drag myself out of bed at this hour of the morning to play 20 questions. All right, I'll tell you. Loomis had an upstate bank for 100000 But he didn't have a nickel when we picked him up. He wants to see you about that money. How am I doing? Cold as Christmas, Lieutenant. Doesn't mean a thing to me, except... Yeah, except what? Uh, Loomis is no gentleman thief. Facing the gas chamber, he's not going to worry about the 5000 that he owes me. That's right, Daddy. That's why I say there's more to it. Maybe so. But that's also where we lose each other. Daddy, this guy killed a cop. Nobody rides in the middle on this one. If you're not on our side, you're on his. You draw your lines, Lieutenant, and I'll draw mine. I'm on my side. Who put the bullet in Chick's leg? That's another secret. How'd you find him? Anonymous phone call. That give you any ideas? None that makes sense. You gonna let him see me? We don't have to, you know. Fine, I've got some sleep coming. Oh, wait a minute. Bring him in. Hello, Willie. Check. Okay, leave him here. You've got three minutes. is bugged? I wouldn't care if it was. Yeah. You know, that's one thing them old-time cowboys didn't have to worry about. You stick up a train or a bank. That were no bugged rooms in those days. No. And no telephones either. You're no Jesse James, Chickie. <laughs> no. But when I was holed up, I got to thinking things like that. You wouldn't know what I mean, but where I was put me in that kind of mood. Why'd you do it, Willie? Do what, Chicky? I sent Lily to ask for help. No favors. I was willing to pay. Now, if you didn't like it, why didn't you just kick her out? That's just what I did. Sure. And then you picked up the phone. Me laying there with a broken leg, and you threw me to the cops. Okay, Chicky, you keep on saying yes, and I'll keep on saying no. Is that what you wanted to tell me? That's not what the cops think I want to tell you. If you're talking about that hundred grand, I couldn't care less. And where you're going, it's not going to do you any good. No, not where I'm going, but right here. Here's where it's going to do me some good. Because I'm not going to tell you a thing, Willie. Search yourself. That's what I'm doing. The cops are going to think I told you. Every guy in town with an angle is going to think you know where a hundred grand in cash is tucked away. That's right, Stooley. The only pleasure I'm going to get from that dough is knowing you're going to get your lumps and maybe your neck broke. While you keep saying you don't know where that money is. What kept you? She was waiting outside when we came to the club. Here, catch. Don't worry, it's not loaded. How are we to know? They wouldn't let me in to wait for you, so I had to play a little game. Okay, what little game are we playing now? 
Same scene, one day later. But uh, who needs an audience, hmm? The afternoon papers will be out soon. Get them and bring them all back here, will you? How come? You'll read how come. And uh, pick up a state road map while you're at it. Okay. Who died? Oh, don't be so morbid. <laughs> well, anyway, I was hanging around the Hoosgall all morning trying to see Chick, but he wouldn't see me. But I understand you did better. The better was none too good. Lily, I only ask this because it doesn't make any sense, but uh, did you tip the police to Chicky? Mm-hmm. See, I sort of had to. In your own curly brain words, why? Well, you see, he wouldn't open up to me about where the money was. So I figured if he was pinched, he'd have to get some big dough to pay for a good lawyer, and he'd need somebody to get the money, somebody on the outside, like me. Except that once you had your hands on it, you're off and running. That. <laughs> anyway, I rigged it so you'd be blamed for the squeal. Listen, uh, Lily of the Alley, I haven't been feeling cute all morning, and I'd just as soon take it out on you as anyone. Well, where would that get you? How about it, Willie Nilly? You and me could have such fun with that dough while it lasted. You can take your fun and uh, get out of here because Chicky didn't tell me where he parked the money. Oh, come on, Angel. Belt me or call me names, but tell me no fairy tales. On the other hand, my life will not be beautiful until that money does show up and maybe you can help me. Why did Chicky call you? I'm a good dancer. What angle are you working on? If I knew his moves from the time he knocked over the bank until he called you, I might figure out where he buried the loot. Hey, you know, I think you're on the level about not knowing, aren't you? Well? Well, 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 well. Goodbye, willy-nilly. I asked you a question. Yes, you did. And you know what? I've thought of an answer. But I'm sure not going to tell you. I bet I can make you tell. No, you couldn't, Angel, unless you couldn't. Another little game? I just want to make sure she goes away mad. Lover, when my ship comes in, I'm going to hire some boys to work you over. Well? Stu, call every French character we know. Find out about Chicky's movements after we got to town. A hideout, girlfriend, anything. To find the money. If I don't find it, somebody's gonna kill me for it. Davy? Stu Stiles. <laughs> Everything's fine. Uh, Davy, what do you know about Chicky Loomis? Hello? He hung up. When you ask for a cop killer, figures. Nobody's home. Try a few pool rooms. Daddy? I never had the pleasure. I'm Johnny Poco. How did you get in here? The uh, back door was open. No, it wasn't. It is now. I read the papers, Danny. Thought you ought to know Chicky and I were in business together. What kind of business? He had hot money, I had cold. You mean you were going to fence the bank money? All arranged, but now that Chicky's kind of bankrupt, I figure you're entitled to keep his half. If I come alone, also I have friends. But of course, friends mean more partners, and uh, I don't figure you and I want more partners. Anyone who can read can walk in here with the same story. Sure. You want proof? Okay. You come by my hardware store, I'll show you the whole bank job on paper in Chickie's writing. Also, the gun he used, he, uh, he dropped it last night when he was leaving. You mean when he was running? You put the slug in his leg. Well, I can shoot better than that, Danny, but... Uh, he didn't have the money with him. That sort of double cross isn't the best recommendation for a business partnership. Chicky doesn't have much of a business head. Gives me a bunch of figures scribbled on paper. What does he know about overhead or protection prices? These figures, uh, were they on a piece of soft cardboard? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Why? Why not? Sorry, Porco, I don't have the money, and even if I did, I wouldn't have you. I don't like too many partners, but I like that a lot better than nothing at all, you understand? I told you I have friends. Get out of here! I'll see you soon, Daddy.
Well, what is it, Willie? A clue to a clue, I hope. This is the note that Chickie sent me. These are the numbers that Poco was talking about. Why, of course. Chickie was figuring out how much he could get by fencing the money to Poco. Yeah, well, he probably did it while he was hiding out. Mm -hmm. What else did he have to do? Wait a minute. Here's uh, Chickie's IOU on this side, but look at this printed stuff underneath. Steak dinner, 35 cents. What? It's just an old menu. Steak dinner, 35 cents. Sounds like the blue plate special for cavemen. Chickie said he was where it made him think of cowboys. Between the bank and San Francisco. A ghost town? This is part of a menu from an old western saloon. Then the money must still be there. Got the road map? Yeah, here. Yeah. Let's see. Before you caught wise and showed up. <laughs> hey, give me a cigarette before I start smoking my fingers. What did I say to make a 49er out of you? Well, you said to figure out where Chicky was after he clipped the bank. So I remembered him saying that he had a whole town to himself when he was hiding out. Yeah. I'm not a total dummy, you know. You're not much of a prospector either. Oh, you know it, Angel. I tore half the town apart with my fingernails. Where do you start? No heavier to carry than water. Oh, <laughs> must have been quite a dump in its day. <laughs> What's that? That is the menu that Chickie used for these figures here. You've lost me, Angel. That means he spent most of his time right in here. Which means the money must be somewhere in this. <laughs> you and Lily. Hmm? Well, it, uh... It figured. What's he doing here? Playing follow the leader. That's right. Well... Where is it? He doesn't know. Have you got any ideas, Poco? Yeah, baby, I have one real good idea if you two try to give me a stall. Chickie told you where to come. He must have told you where to look. I kid you not, Daddy. I leave here with that door. You don't leave here at all. You know, you're right, Poco. He's been holding out on me, too. And after all I did for him. And uh, you're uh, still doing it for me, aren't you, Lily? Okay, Poco. Your dice.
50-50? Now, first, you're gonna help me carry the money to the car. Oh, I'm with you, Angel. <laughs> And then we're going to drive back into town where you and Poco are going to tell Lieutenant Rennick everything that happened. Ah, uh, Willie, do I have to? Yes, Lily, you have to. What's uh, uh, he like, this Lieutenant Rennick? Match in the West. Thank you, Mr. Dandy. You're welcome, Miss. Uh, Willie, what did you do? I thought you told us. Hello, Willie Nilly. Lily, you must have been sentenced to more than six hours. What are you doing here? I'm not on bail, Angel. <laughs> Lieutenant Rannick knew this wonderful lawyer who had this judge sign some kind of paper. And then Ralph. That's Lieutenant Rennick's first name. He knew this very likable bail bondsman. Isn't uh, Lieutenant Rennick the guy that cracks walnuts in his bare fist? Just call him Ralph. He's a doll. <laughs> Take care of this for me, will you, Jeeves? Do I have to? And then Lieutenant Rennick said that with a break, I might get off on a suspended sentence. First offense, you know. You mean the first time you've been caught? Well, if you stop acting so suspicious, maybe we could have a little fun. Excuse me. Biff, here's my wallet, my car keys, and my money. Hang on to them. Now let's have some fun. <laughs>